going on guys jeremy here with another video it's a beautiful day in arizona it's like 72 right now it's perfect so here's what's up i've got a 2007 acura tl with the navigation and the navigation disc reader in the trunk isn't working um or is intermittently so at first i thought it was the disc so i pulled the disc out stuffed it in the computer imaged it and then burned it to a dual layer disc um because the disc looked pretty scratched so i had a backup and a disc to test that wasn't scratched so that disc didn't work so you know what i was like okay whatever these maps are from 2007 let's go get some maps from 2019 anyways my deal up there was saying disc read error with the brand new disc that just came in so that means the drive is junk. Um, even if the iris was covered in bullshit, uh, you should still be able to get some level of data out of the disk, even if it reads morbidly slow. So initially, I took the drive apart and cleaned the iris or the laser. Didn't have any effect. So I disassembled the interior of the trunk as you can see pretty simple um you pop this panel off right here it's it's super easy you've got some clips that slide down that lock it into place so to get it out you just pull it right up um you take out this mat that covers the tire i have it sitting over there right now and then you have this carriage this guy sitting right like that and you basically have the drive right here. Um, and then over that, you have that bad boy, which you just undo all these fancy little clips, those guys, and then just yank it out. Comes right out. So there's four screws to take this guy out. You take them out. Then there's all these fancy clips you got to unplug. They're real easy because they've got these little they're quick disconnect clips, so they've got these little things to make it really easy to disconnect them. And then you take the screws out of the side of this guy. And then we go in the house, and I will show you what the hell is up. Hey, Daisy. All right, so back at the crib sorry I don't have a I decided to get started on this um, and then I got inspired to make a video because I figured everyone else that has one of these that really wants theirs to work they're probably gonna look up this video anyways here's the deal you got to take this faceplate off this guy it's real delicate you've got a screw that holds on here a screw that holds it on here see mine's broke and a plethora of tiny little plastic clips. One's there, one's there, one's there. There's a couple on the front. You just have to really take your time and kind of gently pull everything out. I use a butter knife to help me get under the clips. Take your time and just gently pull everything off, all the clips out, loosen them, and it'll pop right off. Just be patient. If you're not patient, you're going to destroy that and you're going to have, there's a little sensor in here that can tell when there's enough light because it'll tell you that the door in the back of the trunk is open. So anyways, you don't want to mess this up. Now for the drive. To get this guy open, you have a screw here and then one there, one there. Once you get it open, you will see it just slides right open like that. See that? And then there's the drive. Boom. So the part number you're looking for is that right there, which they sell on Alibaba for 50 bucks. What I haven't done yet is, so there's a screw here, 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 and right here that hold this bad boy on. I'm on the last screw. Once that's undone, this whole assembly, you can see I'm pulling up on it. This whole assembly comes up 
you disconnect a ribbon cable and then you go get your new assembly, plug the ribbon cable in, put this in, screws, close it up, snap the lid on, put it all back and you're done. So there's a little breakdown of what you gotta do to fix your, your Alpine DVD navigation reader um, for like 60 bucks versus sending it to Alpine and paying almost 400. So I'll have a part two to this that'll show me putting all this back together. Um, so yeah, stay tuned.